Hey everyone, welcome back to Design Weekly. This is Puneet once again with you guys. And today what we're going to do is create a cool little image editor in um, Adobe XD. Plain, simple Adobe XD. We don't need anything else. Uh, throw away all your other tools. I am just kidding. <laughs> um, this won't be as powerful as Adobe Photoshop or any other image editing tool, but it is going to be really cool. Uh, what the approach I'm going to have here is, uh, as you see on the screen, uh, four filters, I've already drawn this out, uh, four filters that we'll be able to apply over our image. This will be like a cool experiment and you guys will get to know a lot about uh, overlays in Adobe XD and also uh, different sort of transitions and um, this will be like a cool little experiment for you guys. Just to try it out at home. So without further ado, let's get down with it. Okay, so now uh, there is no place where we can place an image. So what we're gonna do is just create a quick rectangle, a little neat rectangle where we will be placing our image. And this is perfect. I'm just gonna center this a little bit more. Yep. Center this entire thing now. Yep. Done, okay. So this is where the image will come and this is where uh, all the filter options will be applied. So uh, I'm just going to quickly drag in an image uh, from my system and that's it. Okay, the cool thing about Adobe XD is if you drag an image into a shape, it automatically fits that image in that shape without ruin the, ruining the aspect ratio of the image. That's pretty cool. Um, what you're going to do is now um, we're going to create a new artboard. Let's just do it above in this area. Um, uh, choose this artboard option from the left and just um, go down and say web 1920 by 1080 that is the size of this so just click on this and they'll create one for you here automatically uh, you don't have to draw anything out just gonna drag this and drop it here okay doesn't make much of a difference where it's placed I'm just doing it for my purpose so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw another rectangle right over our previous rectangle where the image is supposed to be and that's it I cut this and choose this artboard and control V or command V if on Mac and just paste that image here that rectangle here now uh, I'm gonna remove the border from here and I'm gonna do something quickly um, so the first filter will make this image really bright right so what I'm gonna do is just um, select uh, the color and I'm just gonna make this black now this is a little confusing why am I making this shape black if I want this to be brighter which is white um, what I'm gonna do is select this rectangle on top and say background blur I'm just gonna focus this here background blur and I'm gonna reduce the opacity to zero if it's not and reduce the amount of blur to zero the brightness here, as you can see, is an option in Adobe XD that is pretty cool. What I can do is just mm, say 45. Yep, so the brightness goes up to 50, so we're just gonna say 45. We can say 50, whatever level of brightness you want. And all we need to do is prototype, go to prototype mode here. And when on this button, when I click on this button, it should go to this as an overlay. So what happens is we're quickly gonna drag this onto here. Uh, we're gonna trigger it by tapping on this button. And rather than saying auto animate, we're gonna quickly say overlay, okay? Now uh, Adobe XD gives a lot of easing options, but I'm just gonna set it to ease out, which is set by default. And that's it. That's all you need to do. Um, that was real quick, but I'm also going to add more filters here. So let's quickly check how this turned out to be. Okay, so now I've entered the preview mode. My crazy picture is here. And if on clicking this, I shall have a brighter picture. So I'm going to click on this number one. And there you go. Okay, so now I am back in my um, prototype mode. This is the editing mode. Uh, now what I'm going to do is create three more artboards like this. I can duplicate this artboard by clicking Ctrl D or Command D. One, two, three. 
three. So now we have four artboards in total. Now we have one overlay here. We will edit the second overlay here. Now this shall darken the image, the second overlay. So we go down to background blur and we will take this in minus. So rather than 45, we'll say minus 45. If you take it into minus 45, the brightness will automatically decrease. Uh, that's pretty much understood. The third one will give us a red hue or a red tint, so as to say. Uh, and what we're gonna quickly do is uh, we're gonna remove the background blur and here we will just put a red, basic red and decrease the opacity to 50 or 45. We're doing 45s here. And the last one will actually blur the picture. So rather than saying brightness, we're gonna say zero brightness. And the blur amount, we're gonna to set to say 50. That's the max, okay? What we're gonna do is set it to 45 again. <laughs> so uh, 45 is today's lucky number and also the number we're placing. So we're gonna go back to, uh, go back to prototype. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, if you click on two, uh, this overlay should come up, which is the second overlay. I'm just gonna drag and drop here. Just go, go over to the options here, tap, perfect, overlay, ease out, 0 0.3 seconds, perfect. Everything has been already set up by Adobe XD. That's another cool thing Adobe XD does. It just sets everything by default. And third one will be this one on the corner. Um, and we don't need to worry about all this anymore. And the fourth one will be this. So I'm just gonna grab this and take it to the fourth artboard. As simple as that. Now we're gonna go back into, pro, uh, into the preview mode and see how this works out for us. All right, everyone, we are back in the preview mode, as you can see here, and we are gonna test our little experiment out. If I click on this, it should brighten the picture. Perfect. If I click on number two, it should, what does it do? Uh, it should darken the picture, hopefully. Yes. If I click on number three, it should give it a red tint or red hue, perfect. And on clicking four, it should give us a blurred image. Uh, so that is our little image editor or photo editor of sorts. Uh, quick filter adding on your image and that was pretty cool. Um, I hope you get to know a lot about Adobe XD through my uh, little experiments here. I'm gonna link all the other experiments down in the description. Uh, I'm gonna link the Adobe XD file I used to make this little cool experiment here. And also, I'm gonna link all my social media, so go ahead and follow me there. Go ahead, subscribe to my channel because that goes a long way. Like this video if you liked it, share it with your design uh, enthusiast friends, and also let me know how you felt about this video in the comments below. Uh, have a great day and have a blessed life. See you again. Later.